what is good youtube it's Jerko and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to boost fps and lower input delay in any game so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and download an app called park control i'll leave a link down uh, in the description for you guys to be able to download it but yeah once you download it it's a really easy installation i'm not going to go through it but it's really easy so just download it and install it and once you finish that go ahead and go uh, open it up and you should be here so once it opens up uh, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go up here to cpu settings for power profile and uh, just press this arrow and it's going to show you all the power profiles in here you have power saver high performance bitsim highest performance and balance the one that you want to choose is bitsim highest performance and do not choose any other than that once you have chosen that just press make active i already have it active as you can see current system power status bitsim highest performance but yeah just press make active once you finish that that's the only thing you want to change in here just press ok and it should close out on its own but yeah, next up we're going to go ahead and go into our control panel and go ahead and type in here power and it should come up with power options here you want to go to power options as you can see it's going to show balance it's some highest performance high performance and power saver you want to make sure it's on this one and then go to change plan settings and as you can see here turn off display you want to make sure it's on never once you've done that you save changes and you can close this out next up we're going to do is going to go down into this arrow and right click on the logo that uh, has the nvidia geforce thing so just right click on it and press nvidia geforce experience and it should open up yeah once it has opened up up, it's going to go in, uh, into the home tab you want to go into the drivers tab and here you want to make sure all the drivers are updated by just pressing download here on this big download button and once you press download it's going to obviously finish downloading and then uh once it downloads i'm not going to actually press download right now because i do not want to download while recording but uh once you finish downloading uh it's going to tell you express installation or another setting which i don't remember but you want to make sure to press express installation and just uh, install it like that and you should be good but yeah, once you finish everything you can close this out and you are good but you guys that's too much it for this video i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like and subscribe for music this one but yeah i'll see you in the next one peace